So yeah, peeps, we're in Karama. We're on another adventure, and this time, not for food. We're actually looking for props for the photo shoot that we're gonna have for all our sandwiches, which is happening in just a few days. Oh, you waited. Sorry, man. I totally forgot. But... The magic of cinema. <laughs> yeah, simple magic. Simple, simple. Magic. But we're in Karama and the weather is like this today, peeps. It's like super sandy. There's been a sandstorm since early this morning and there's sand like all over the place. It's in the air. It's in our hair. Oh my god! And it's everywhere. What? Gold Pita, I got some awesome news from Ian Owen. Ian, I just got your WhatsApp. Our hood is installed. <laughs> One step closer, peeps. Where are we going, by the way? So, look, with these sort of projects, you know, being an entrepreneur, uh, you gotta celebrate the little moments. Every moment. Every moment. Yeah. Every moment. So, it's a, it's a marathon, people. It's not a sprint. All right. Let's find uh, this place. Hey, oh, wait, wait, wait. So uh, let me show you the photo, okay? Hey. Oh, there's a photo! Yeah, so, yeah. Hang on, did you guys see the vlog where we showed you guys for the first time the construction that was happening, or the fit out that was happening on our store? It was like crazy, right? Well, here's what it looks like today, just four days after we shot that. That was May 8th, so check this out. Check this out, check this out, check this out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the walls cleaned up, the roof cleaned up, and they are installing that hood. Phenomenal peep! We're getting there. And uh, like I said on that video, if you haven't watched it, we are probably a couple weeks away from opening. Hey, how about we send a message to Ian right now? Let's do it. Hey Ian, uh, we're, we're actually vlogging right now and we just showed Gompita your photo. Uh, we are so excited. So expect this to be in our next vlog. Super pumped, Ian. Great news. Perfect timing, by the way. Perfect timing. Boom! Damn, dude. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. Why do people do that? Guys. I'm gonna have gum. Either swallow it or throw it in the trash can. How do people throw gum in like a place like this? Ooh. I see that this is a common practice <laughs> over, over here. Look at this. My God. Guys, don't throw gum on the floor. Pema, hey, let's go. Terrible, dude. Seriously. How you doing, man? Eh? How's everything, all right? Yeah. Looks like we found the place. Oh, yeah. We actually did. Oh, you found it. Whoa, this is a big store. I got Sort of things where you want ideas on design and photography and layout. Pinterest is your friend. We uh, did a bunch of research and looked at different ways that we can set up our food for photography. So we walked in here when it was light and we're coming out when it's dark. We've actually been in there for two hours, you know? Woo! Man, <laughs> the life of an entrepreneur. You gotta do it all yourself, huh? Yeah. 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 Thank God it's the two of us, man. We're doing like a lot of stuff, though. But hey, just like old times, 
a bit of three things. Well, this one's butter, that's for sure. These two are sweet, actually. So we just got one savory and two sweets. So if you guys know what these are called, comment below. Typical Parham meal. Lots of sweets. And, uh, oh, it's good. Not the freshest weather. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a bow, but it's not a bow. Is it? Is it good? It's, I don't know. It's weird. It's in the middle. Oh. Let me see that Mohammed. What is that? Let me see. Oh, there's coconut in here for sure. Oh. Oh, and here comes the magic right there. Shukriya, thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Coconut? That's pretty good. What's on the outside though? What is I that? I think it's rice. No. Mm. You like it? It's dense. You want another piece? No. It's super dense. Mm. It's like super dense. Mmm. Oh, the coconut is amazing. Yeah. This thing right here, Mohammed is opening up, and it was basically a banana leaf. Super like, looks like it's steamed, Mohammed? Yeah. Steamed, and on the inside. Mmm. It's kind of like the other one. I think it's also rice on the outside, lots of sugary coconut on the inside, and cardamom. You smell? You taste cardamom in here. Mm. You haven't even tried the, the, the mm. chai yet. Mm. The inside is just amazing. It's just like sugared coconut. Mm. It's a great like pick you up. Some carbs, some sugar. You guys do know that Muhammad doesn't have dairy, but he makes exceptions when you have to absolutely make exceptions. And today, he made an exception. How is it? Good. Just good. I think it's a little on the light side. It should be stronger. But it's not a bad kara. It's just that we've had some killer karaks around the world. True that. So I think we're overly critical sometimes. It's a good karak. But yeah, that tea flavor. You need that strong tea flavor. It looks beautiful. And that I mean, richness of the milk, right? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I guess you know. I always say there are far too few places that do karak with fresh milk. And, you know, it's uh, it's a shame. It's a travesty. But hey. Mm. All right. It's a good karak, but it does need a stronger tea flavor. In fact, you guys know that's what karak means, right? Karak, strong tea, it could be stronger. Here's the thing, these are larger glasses than the usual. Normally they're about either three quarters this side or half this side. If it was that strong, like we're used to, we'd be flying home right now. So maybe that's why it's a little bit on the lighter side. And what do they call that? And it's like just half full, the cup? Cutting chai. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, if, if we find this karak by accident, we'd be pretty happy. It is a good color. Oh my god. But it, it could be strong. No, I agree. Yeah? Mm. Like, I'm not sure if this cracks the 90 range for me, but very close. That's probably 89. You gotta do it right. Let me wash my hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fantastic. Good food. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.